happening here. What are you doing? I'm cutting the hole. Why are you cutting the hole? Because we got our port lights. You know we don't have screws, right? There's no screws. Do you have screws? What we are you didn't... talking about? There's no screws in the box. For the port lights? Yes, there's no screws in the box. Ah! Let's change our story. Let's change our life. We'll do it our way, our own design. Last week here on Salty Escape, we had a major improvement in our cockpit with a brand new table and a new obstacle, a big tear in the flooring of our RV. Definitely a problem when we're getting ready to sell. This week, the last of our port lights finally arrived and we get to test out some new products on the beach, but not before we have to fix this vinyl flooring in the RV. We finally received, I think, we finally received our last port light. So we ordered these in January. So within a couple months, we received three and we ordered eight. And we kind of freaked out, they've messed up. They probably think that they filled the whole order and now we're gonna have to fight with them and tell them we only got three of the eight. These things are not cheap, by the way. We called and they said, no, 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 it's uh, it's global shortages. They're gonna get them to us as, as soon as they can. So then a couple months after that, we received another shipment with four more. So that makes seven and <laughs> we've been waiting on one. And here we are, the last one. So if you're new to our channel, this is something that we've been struggling with for a long time. Our boat has been equipped with these plexiglass port lights and you can see that they are just through bolted onto the hull. And to make matters worse, I don't know if you can pick this up, but that one there is a light gray and this one is dark and that one is dark, which tells me that several of them, I don't know which, have been replaced. There's only one reason that you would replace them is because they tend to fail easy. But the thing is, with all of the other boats like ours, this is a 1996, Fontaine Peugeot Venezia 42. We have looked online extensively for boats similar to ours and we found a bunch of them. They all have typical offshore port lights. At some point, a previous owner removed the port lights and installed these plexiglass and that's just not gonna work for us. So this is the pattern that I need for my cutout. And then obviously the frame comes a little bit wider so you can see there's a little bit of um, reveal there, but I'm gonna go ahead and mark this and start cutting out for it. Oh boy, you guys. Something snagged on my floor and now I've got this giant rip. Now that we're living on the boat, the RV is for sale. We're hoping to make some money to purchase things we need for offshore cruising. So here's my best attempt at gluing this back down. And it definitely looks better, but in this particular view, so if I come back, you know, it's still it's obvious what's happened here and I would like it to be less obvious so I think I'm gonna take the plunge and I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this whole thing out but I can only cut it out if I can find a piece of vinyl that will match and I think my best bet is over here behind this fireplace so these fireplaces are pretty sneaky there's two little screws hiding up in here. Then this whole thing comes off. Fireplace box coming out. When I see you, my heart starts to race. You make me brand new. You start me dead in my place. I never felt like this before. You're everything I want in more. I never thought Okay guys, here is our donor piece. I'm very nervous about what's about to happen here. I don't like it. I'm, I'm not happy, but I'm keeping my mouth shut. It's on you. She doesn't trust me. It's not that I don't trust you. 
That's exactly that what it is. Like she doesn't trust me. A big mistake is coming here. Okay, so what we're fixing to do here is this is the donor piece, and we're going to cut it out all the way around both sides together. And um, she's afraid that once I cut this, there's no going back, and she's right. But this is this is how they repair these. The piece he cut out doesn't match the grout lines up, so we're going to have to kind of doctor that. So we literally have one shot. If we cut this out. There's no putting something back together to make it work, so this is it. I apologize if I mess it up. Okay, so we've got this cut, and I think I've through cut it. And then we had a little problem when we got ready to cut this last one where it shifted like this. So now we've got um, a bit of an issue where we want to make sure it's lined up perfect. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to pull this one out and it's probably, actually we should go from the center is what they say. There. <laughs> There's the glue that we just did. Okay. All right. He should lay in here like a perfect puzzle. Let's hope. off the grab line and then the underneath, should peel, underneath should peel up and out not too bad we got a little bit of a gap there well color pencil that so far it already looks way better than it did let's just not glue it as, Are you as happy? Long as it, yeah, as long as it lays flat, I think it'll be okay. This is a little bit weird. But not enough that anybody's going to notice right away. It almost looks, look, it almost looks like that wants to line up. I know. <laughs> not here, though. Uh, okay, all right. You did the right thing, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I was mean to you. You weren't mean to me. You just didn't trust me. I didn't trust you at all. I was like, this is a mistake. We're heading to the beach because we got something called a shibumi. Is that right? I don't actually know how to pronounce it. I've not looked <laughs> it up. We don't know how to pronounce it. Anyway, we're going to go check it out. We're gonna basically we're gonna feed this on to the pulp. Whew, it is a nice material. Ah! Is it what matter? This oh wait a minute, which side is which? Hold on. Get under! Oh my gosh, I wonder it! Okay, Carter, you can lay it down. Well, walk with me. Look how awesome this is. We are not sponsored by this company, but it is a great product. We've been seeing them on the beach for a couple of years now, and we finally figured out what they are. I'll put a link in the video description to this company's website, but this is just out of the good gesture of our heart. It's not a sponsorship. And this is a very light um, parachute material. It's beautiful. Cutting the hole. Because we got our port lights. You know we don't have screws, right? There's no screws. Do you have screws? What we are you talking about? There's no screws in the box. 
for the port lights? Yes, there's no screws in the box. Ah! As it turns out, screws are sold separately. We'll have to pick up this project next week.